Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android application development tutorial with Android Studio. So in this episode, we are going to learn something about linear layout in Android. So the linear layout is a view group in Android. So if you're using the linear layout as a view group, then you can align the child elements in one direction, horizontally or vertically. So if you're using the linear layout as the view group, then you can align the child elements horizontally and vertically. And you can specify the direction by using the Android orientation attribute available with the linear layout. Suppose we have to create a layout similar to this one. So this layout contains four view components, three edit text and a button. And here the view elements are aligned in vertical manner and each row contains only, only one view element. So the linear layout is the better choice for creating a layout similar to this one. So here I am going to show you how to create a layout similar to this one using the linear layout. So open Android Studio. So we have to add four we have to add four view components. So first I am going to specify the string resource for all these components so go to the values folder and open the strings.xml file and specify all the needed string resources so the first one is the hint for the edit text to subject and message so here I am going to add each one first one is two and specify the value as 2. Second one is subject. And specify the value as subject. Third one is message. And specify the value as message. And final one is the label on the button. It is sent. And specify the value as sent. Okay. Now we have to make this layout. So go to the XML version of the layout. Now it is a relative layout. I change this one into linear layout plus the linear layout okay and here the width is much parent height is also much parent and here the orientation we need the orientation in vertical so add the attribute orientation and do it orientation into vertical <coughs> so now I am going to add the first edit text and specify the width as match parent and height as wrap content and now we have to specify the hint and draw it hint and refer it from the string resource to now look at the design now we got the first edit text now we have to compare this okay so we need some we need some margin at left and right of each view component see here in the target layout we have some margin we have some margin at the left side and right side so we have to add a margin at left and right so that is the next step so we have to specify some padding for this linear layout so android padding left i specify the value as 6 dp 16 dp now we have to specify some margin at the right side so Android padding right into 16 dp. 
So look at the design. Now we got a margin at left side and right side of the view component. Okay. Now we have to add the second edit text. It is subject. So here I am going to add the second edit text. Specify the width as match parent, height as wrap content. Also specify the hint and row it hint. Specify the Android hint, Android hint, and refer it from the string resources. It is subject. Okay. Now look at the design. Now we got the second edit text. Now we have to add the third one, third edit text. It is message and the third one is bigger than other two. So now I am going to add the third edit text. Uh, width is match parent and height is wrap content. Now we have to specify the hint and draw it hint and refer from the string resource. And it is message. Now we got the third edit text message, but we have to make this one is much bigger than other two edit text. And finally, we have to add the button at the bottom, and we have to align the button at the right side. So now I am going to add the button. Width into I specify the width as 100 dp. And height into wrap content. Also, we have to specify some label on the button. And row it text. And refer it from the string resource. It is the send. Okay, now we got the button at the layout. Now we have to align the button at the right side. So you have to use the attribute Android layout gravity and specify it as right. It is not layout weight, it is layout gravity and specify it as right. Okay, now we align the button at the right side. Okay, so now we have to make the third edit, edit text much bigger than other two. So you can achieve this using the weight attribute. So we have to make this one much bigger than other two edit text. So we have to use the weight attribute for the third edit text. So here I change the height into 0 dp. Change the height into 0 dp and specify another attribute and row it layout weight into 1. Now look at the design. Now we make the third one much bigger than other two edit text. Okay. Now we have to align the hint message at the top of the edit text. So you can align the message at the top using gravity and through it it is not layout gravity it is simply gravity and specify it as top now look at the design now we now we make a layout much similar to this one okay so in this layout all the view components are aligned in vertical so the linear layout is the better choice for creating layout similar to this one. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.